The U.S. Army today fired or suspended 14 soldiers, including general officers at its Fort Hood base. An independent investigation found a command climate that was permissive of sexual harassment and sexual assault. According to the Army, it's one of the largest disciplinary actions it's ever taken. The murder of Spe Army Specialist Vanessa Guillen sparked this whole probe. Officials say a fellow soldier killed her in April. Her family says he first sexually harassed her. Guillen is one of the 25 soldier deaths this year at that one base in Texas. This report, without a doubt, will cause the Army to change our culture. Well, it could, except these issues have been ongoing for years. Since January of 2016, there have been more than 150 non-combat deaths at Fort, of Fort Hood soldiers, including at least seven homicides and 71 suicides. NBC News' Courtney, uh, Courtney Kuby has been following this story. Courtney, how could these issues be going on for so long? So think about it, Shep. You have groups of commanders. The military, it, you know, they tend to move around. They're in a job for two to three years. But there's always overlap between different commands. So you had groups of commanders who would come in, but they would, they would in, it, just take the habits, the bad habits, and the bad behavior that they had learned from their predecessors, and it just kept getting passed down. So we saw this go for years at Fort Hood. And what the, there was this review panel that you mentioned. Their report came out today. Well, they found that there was, it had, over years of this command, this, this culture, it had created a climate where sexual harassment and sexual assault was permissible, was nearly permissible, and even uh, more violence than that, including murder. You mentioned the case of Vanessa Guillen. Her case is really what sparked this, and she's an Army specialist who was just brutally murdered er earlier this year. One of the things that the review panel found was that the Army, the, the base leadership at Fort Hood, didn't react fast enough when she went missing. There, and today, Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy announced that now the Army will have a new rule that within the first 48 hours of any soldier going missing, they don't assume that individual is necessarily away without leave. They assume that that person may be missing, may be in danger, and they do everything that they can to try to find them, Shep. Courtney, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.